To learn more about Indiana's insect world, I traveled to Purdue University to talk to a few experts in a field called entomology, the study of insects. My first stop, Dr. Tom Turpin, one of Indiana's top entomologists. Hey Tom, how Hi, you doing? Hi Rick, how you doing? Oh nice. I haven't seen you since, uh, oh who knows who what? Who knows when? Yeah, years ago. So. Well you know Tom, I got some things that's been really bugging me. Oh no. I, uh, yes, I thought you would be the perfect guy to help me figure out some of this creepy crawly cool science things about insects. Oh yeah, that's what we're here for. Always interested in talking about insects. Tom has been studying insects for over 30 years, and in that time, we have come a long way in our understanding of the insects all around us. My early career was involved in research of insects that are pests, uh, primarily of the corn crop. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been involved in teaching pest management and teaching uh, introductory classes that are uh, trying to popularize entomology with the general population. So we're here in the hall. This is the Bug Barn, located in the entomology building here at Purdue University. Come on in. All right. Wow, this is uh, quite the room. Uh, this is a, this would be an awesome classroom or just a room for anybody who is interested in bugs. Uh, and exactly, and we actually use it for uh, uh, groups that come here to study entomology on a limited basis, or our regular classes, which are taking class all semester, might come down here. Uh, to actually uh, look at the insects on display. This room is home to a lot of information about bugs as well as home to a few bugs themselves. Tom keeps hundreds and hundreds of Madagascar hissing cockroaches. They call them hissing cockroaches because they produce a, a universal warning sound, a hiss, when they're disturbed and that would be suggestive of a snake and so they get some protection when you touch them. And they're all different sizes. I guess insects are pretty uh, good about um, making more insects, it seems. <laughs> well, one of the keys to insect survival is their rate of reproduction. Mm -hmm. So lots of them become food for other animals. Uh, they're destroyed in accidents. They're killed by the weather. Uh, so many of them uh, do not survive. So reproduction in high numbers is a strategy of survival for for the insect. Are there places where you don't find insects? The most limited environment would be in the sea. Uh, insects are basically uh, not sea dwelling organisms. Mm -hmm. uh, a few live on the surface of the sea, but they have cousins out there. The, the, obviously the lobsters and the shrimp uh -huh. are arthropods that are cousins. Arthropod means, means joint legged creatures, uh -huh. so that includes things like spiders, uh, crayfish, uh, millipedes, centipedes, and the insects. With this many insects together, it's easy to find one or two that stand out. Is that uh, some weird uh, cockroach that just got in there? Or? Well, this, this white roach, the one I think that you're talking about uh -huh. here, if I can pick her up without uh, smashing her, uh, would actually be a, a newly molted cockroach as they grow like a knight uh, who needs uh, to get mm -hmm. a new suit of armor. Mm -hmm. if they haven't minded their girth and they begin to gain weight, a knight would have to get a new suit of armor because mm -hmm. he doesn't fit in the old one. That's the way it is with insects. Mm -hmm. They actually uh, will shed that old exoskeleton, will expand the new one when they're white like this, and they now have a larger suit of clothes. <laughs> Tom spends most of his time surrounded by insects, and he'll admit it's hard to determine which one is his favorite. But if we had to pick one, it's the praying mantis. So, uh, man, today, uh, yeah, that one? Hang on to that yeah. one. Here's the there mantis. we go. Praying mantis. A fairly large insect, and one of the few that can turn its head. I think every kid probably likes a praying mantis, at least a boy, mm -hmm. because growing up, it was really fun to watch these things catch a prey insect and then delicately maybe tear the wings off and then consume the rest of it. The mantis can be found almost anywhere in Indiana, and according to Tom, they make great pets. What are, what are some of the benefits of having insects here? Well, uh, certainly insects are nature's recyclers. There are major pollinators. Uh, it, I once read that uh, a scientist said that if humans weren't on the earth, we wouldn't notice much of a difference at all ecologically, although some of the bad things we've done would cease to exist. But if you didn't have insects, the world would, would cease to exist. Wow. So insects are essential to the, uh, to the ecology of the earth. Humans are just a beneficiary of it.